Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Yes, hello people. Today we're back with Darman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this video, Darman has changed his narrative to a James Bond type shit. Because, you know, he is all that, you know. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, surely Darman really is changing lives, right? I mean, he's got all these really nice... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah, let me just hand that over to you. You are welcome. Oh, they do not stop. They do not stop. Okay, buddy. Okay. Just remove Storyteller, because you're not really good at it, and, you know, just keep this. A really shit one, but, you know, it's something. But anyway, enough procrastinating. Let's get into it. Yeah? Jack show, right? Must have been something you ain't, dude. You are sweating and your eyes don't look particularly healthy. You keep on blinking erratically. Yeah, it must have been uh, that other deer I killed, man. You know, <laughs> it's family. Man, because you've been having a lot of these moments. I know you said I'm good, okay? You know what? Why don't you guys get some practice shots? Knox. This is the face I'm making right now. Why do you fuckers just take the fucking shot? Jesus Christ. Hooray! Muy bien, muy bien, good sir. Well done. It only took two fucking switches to get to that guy. Jesus, at least someone has balls around here. Let's go. Got a big job coming up. Are you sure you're cool? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, what, can you, uh, like, lay off? Am I the only one who's just getting increasingly bored of this? I mean, quite literally, we are 1 minute and 13 seconds into this, and I cannot bear this already. This is so fucking boring. But yeah, doll, oh, yeah, he's changing lives, yeah! His videos are so entertaining. Wow, this really changed my life, yay! So I skipped ahead a bit, you're not missing much, it was just some bullshit talk about Oh, I get off my back man, I'm fine, yeah. and now they're all wearing suits There's your summary, you're welcome You okay? <sighs> Call it off my appointments mixed up is this a couple's therapy session what did you say dude looks like mike tyson's long lost brother or something and no it's not because he is black no okay before you go there it's not because he's black for a split second i just saw a bit of resemblance in him and here we are okay just as the guy said Get off my back, will you? The session's for Jack's here. Are you two relatives? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, uh, Brett's head of my security. Oh, I have you here is working in consulting. What would you be doing with a head of security? Well, what's with all the questions? What is this, like an interrogation? Relax. He's just doing his job. I'm gonna wait outside. Can I ask a genuine question? How do people sit back and enjoy these videos? They are just so 
boring. Like, genuinely, I'm that kind of guy who eats food and eats, but if I had to eat and watch fucking Dharma videos, I just wouldn't be able to finish my food. Like, genuinely, I'm not saying that with a pinch of salt, that is a genuine fucking statement. And of course, you know, Darman changes lives on a daily basis with these 17-minute videos filled with nothing, absolutely nothing other than filler, just to pad out his fucking runtime. Like, it is ridiculous how just money-thirsty Darman is. But, you know, obviously the kids who watch his videos don't see it. He genuinely thinks that the, that Dar is a good guy. But well, let me tell you something, kids. He is not. He does not give one single fuck about you. And if he could single out all of your comments just to be positive ones, he would. I mean, he basically already does that already. You go through Darlan's comment section, it's going to be like 95% chance that you won't see a hate comment. And that over 5%, you know what? Change it all to just 98%, you won't see a hate comment. Because... Most likely, Dar filters them all, goes through all the comments, tends to be like, oh yeah, I'm Dar, man, yeah, I'll reply to you, maybe reply to you, yeah, yeah, thanks for watching my video, you can subscribe for more sources of positivity, yeah, yeah, Dar, man, yeah. I understand that first therapy sessions can be a little uncomfortable for some people, but I promise you that I... Yeah, let's just, let's just get on with it. Okay. I saw you here because of some anxiety. Is that what Rep put down? Look, he did all the paperwork. I don't have any anxiety. Has there been any changes in your life? Stress, marital problems, health problems? I, I don't know. Look, Jax, I can't help you unless you open up to me. Look, uh, Doc, I'm not here to chit-chat about my feelings, you know? If you could just give me some pills so I can get back to work, I need to get back to work. I'm sorry, I know you didn't sign up for this, but you're not here to chit-chat at a therapist's office. What the hell are you here to do? Take a nap? I mean, come on. Medication is an option. However, I need to understand you and your situation a little better. Okay, can I ask, like, for, like, 45 seconds there, why was the camera so fucking far zoomed in? That wasn't even me. As you can see, I'm fully zoomed out. Boom, boom, fully zoomed out. And Darman just had his camera just zoomed in on the eyes. Like, what the hell, Darman? First is your production quality, and now it's your cameras. Come on. I knew this was a waste of time. I said... Sit down. I'm gonna make you some soup. We really need to start the treatment. When do you think we're gonna have the money? Soon. How soon? I thought you said you had another job lined up. What happened to that? It got delayed. Okay, Regina? No, I just got home. Can you just get off my case for two minutes? Get off your case? Damien's life is on the line. You don't think I know that? He's my son, too. Look, I'm going to do everything that I can to help him. But I don't need you breathing down my neck every five seconds. Yeah, sorry, man. You got married, okay? This is what you signed up for. You're dealing with a woman here, okay? Now, I'm not sexist. I'm not misogynistic. But nine times out of ten, if you're married to someone, they're going to be breathing down your neck every time you step foot into the home. Just saying. So let me fill you in on what happened. Basically, the guy's family is in big danger, and our big dad of the year is going to turn to James Bond, which is probably what you've been waiting for from the title. But, you know, Darland's runtime now is just so fucking ridiculous just to pass out his runtime. You know, extra dollars, you know what I mean? I mean, he'd probably buy a fucking mega mansion with the money he made from this video alone. So, I don't know why I'm talking. Completely upgrade the HVAC system at 40% less than the other guy's charge. Wow. This all sounds great. Sir, your son 
Thomas just arrived. Oh, great. Uh, he can wait there with you. I'll be right there. My apologies. My wife has a meeting, so she dropped my son off here. I didn't want him at home by himself because I'm sure you guys know about all these break-ins and kidnappings happening. Mm -hmm. I'm even looking into hiring personal security because you can't really trust anyone nowadays. Dad! Hey, kiddo. Oh. No. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to be in here. Yeah, Dad's in a meeting, but that was cool. Uh, it was good. I, I missed you. I told everyone at school how you're taking me to Universal today. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I told him I'd take him to Harry Potter Land later today. That's all he's talking about. He's obsessed. And he even got the Harry Potter broomstick in my office and everything. This dude looks like he's just about to break down crying. What the hell is going on in this video? But when you're a dad, you gotta keep your promises. Uh, give me a minute, and I'll be right back. Sure, sure, of course. So what do you want to do? It's almost three o'clock. I gotta let the guys know. Cut it off. Cut it off. It's a no-go. Jax is calling it off. I repeat, it's a no-go. Hey, this guy for real? It's the second time in a row. Hey, look, man. I ain't come all... <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at this, guys. <laughs> it's Stephen Ogg. <laughs> Tom man got his production quality up, man. It's Stephen Ogg. That's crazy, wow. So the son is in the hospital. The fact that some family, I don't know whether it is, some other family, I don't really give a shit. This video is a, these videos are fucking garbage. One of the families are going to be in danger, and James Bond dad, who has nervous panic attacks, is going to come save the day. Yippee! Get half a mil? And that account in the next hour? You mean I'll ever see your son again? You feel me? Hey. Let's see what's going on outside. At least you don't try anything. I thought you two were trying to help me. I opened up to you about my son and everything. I'm so sorry, Richard. I got, I got desperate. My my son is in the hospital. He needs cancer Stop treatment. Stop talking. Grab the paper and get on your laptop. You got time to waste now, rich man. I'm not gonna ask again. Okay. Hey, you better not be trying any funny business. Get out of here! Let's go! Oh, here we go. Here's what I was talking about. James Bond dad to the rescue. Yay! James, drop it! Come on. Now we both know... You ain't about to pull that trigger. I saw you with the deer. You're soft. You ain't no killer. Yeah, again, I'd like to remind you that this is family friendly. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, what, you're changing lives, darling. You do you. You ain't built for this. But I am. Did you just hear that sound? Yes, listen again. That's right, Darman has now lowered his production to using stock effect prison office is sounds. I mean, I'm quite certain I've heard those exact sounds in hard time. You know what, I'm not, e not even quite certain. I'm absolutely positive those are in hard time. You know, the M. Dickey game. 
But, uh, you know, yeah, change your lives, yeah. I decided not to press charges against you or Red. Why would you do that? Look, what you did was wrong. There's no doubt about that. But I also realized that you tried to save my life. So I put myself in your shoes, and I also realized I don't know what I'd do if my son was to die. And even though he commits the crime, he then got off scot-free. Yay! No consequences for my actions. 